Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Today's video is going to be on the epic weapons of Infinite Warfare, and today we're going to be talking about the NV4 Flatline. This weapon is very, very popular, and for good reason. This thing is absolutely awesome, and I was, you know, I sort of debated Debating if I should buy this or not because I really like the legendary version of the NV4 because that version gives you reduced recoil and gives you the ability to get a nuke. But this epic version honestly is probably a lot better. Of course, it doesn't have the ability to get the nuke, which is kind of annoying, but this version is a damn monster. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Of course, this epic Weapons of Infinite Warfare series is sponsored by Free My App. So, if you guys want to get, your, to get yourself some free Call of Duty points to open up supply drops and get some epic weapons yourself, the link to that will be down in the description. You guys can go ahead and check that out and click that link down the description and also i'd really appreciate if we could get 2,000 likes on this video that would be absolutely awesome if you could hit 2,000 likes that would of course be today's like goal on this video um you guys seem to love this epic weapon series and that would be absolutely awesome uh subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and this gameplay here i'm actually playing the new game mode in infinite warfare which is the boots on the ground only and no double jumping basically and i'll talk more about this game mode after i talk about the gun and the class setup and stuff like that but this game mode is absolutely awesome and let's get right into it now, like I said, this NV4 flatline is a really, really good gun, and honestly, it's a lot better than I expected. Now, this thing has a little bit of a drawback, and that's what's sort of weird, is on epic weapons, they do have a lot of positive stuff, but some of the epic weapons have a little bit of drawback, where you sort of have to look at the stats, look at the stats charts to see exactly what that is. Now, this gun, of course, I'll show it up on the screen right now, but it does. It costs 4,000 salvage once you already have the legendary version to upgrade from the legendary to the epic. And this version actually gives you the infinite damage range with reduced fire rate. That is precision. And basically what that means is if a guy, it doesn't matter if a guy's standing right next to me where I can shake hands with him or a guy standing across the biggest map in Call of Duty history, I will kill him in the same amount of bullets. It doesn't matter if I have a silencer on. It doesn't matter any of that sort of stuff, I assume. And this makes this gun really, really good because I love using the NV4 with the silencer. And this infinite damage range is absolutely awesome. I melt people across long lines of sight and that's what I absolutely love about this gun now the reduced fire rate you'd think would be pretty bad it is only as, as a, according to the chart which you can't always trust the chart in game a minus four on the fire rate this thing definitely does fire slower but it's it's a little bit noticeable but it's not that big of a deal honestly you're it's, you're only going to notice that when you're trying to fight people up really close a medium to long range this is definitely the best variant of the end before and then the other one is of course focus which is reduced idle sway while aiming down sights that can be helpful i guess there's not much idle sway on an assault rifle in this game but it can be helpful you know if you're aiming down sights for a long time your gun starts to sway around a little bit and that's usually why i just run quick draw and i aim out and, and i aim in and i aim out if i'm watching a tight you know or i'm watching a head glitch or a door or a corridor or something like that that's what i always do with that this variant is absolutely epic as far as the um epic and that's no pun intended as far as the class setup that i run with the end before there's no different class setup for this flatline than a normal variant. The only different thing, or you know, the only thing that's really important is you need to run the silencer all the time. Take advantage of that infinite damage range and run the silencer every single time on your class setup. I think that's definitely the best way to go with this. Um, of course, the class setup that I use, I'll give it to you guys real quick. I use the ELO site, but the ELO site is optional if you guys want to run that or if you guys don't want to run want to run that. And the class setup is, of course, going to be quick draw, stock, silencer, and then I run first perk ghost dexterity second perk hardline and then the merc combat rig where i basically have mana arms to have a bunch of ammo and a huge ammo supply and stock now that you guys have the class set up and the combat rig and the best way to you know have the class it up set up for this gun let's talk a bit about the play style the way you want to play with this version or this variant the nv4 flatline the epic one is not too different from how you play with the nv4 the nv4 is a very good gun i've gone on record saying it's the best assault rifle and i still believe this gun is the best assault rifle rifle in the game but where it lacks power is at close range and that definitely is um, affected a little bit because of this reduced fire rate of course this gun has literally no recoil it's an acr type shooter um, a crazy assault rifle um, there's been a lot of assault rifles in the history of call of duty that have had no recoil and here i try to see if i can make the wall run to do the uh to get up there which of course you can't do in this game mode i tried to see if i could hang on to the side there and do some sort of maneuver but that didn't work out too well but as far as the play style with this gun is you definitely want to keep 
keep the enemies at a distance, take advantage of that infinite damage range, and this gun obviously will strive at that situation. It is still really good at close range, and the, the minus four fire rate is not that noticeable, but if you're going up against other players using the OSA, using the K-Bar, using Type 2s, or even SMGs, you're going to get absolutely destroyed at close range, and that's why if you play a sort of playstyle where you keep the enemies at bay, play sort of stealthy, move around the map, and use that silencer you know to your advantage that's basically probably one of the best play styles in call of duty infinite warfare anyway and by using that play style that is the best way to do well with this weapon now let's talk more now that we've talked about this variant and how good this variant is let's talk a bit more about this game mode that i was playing which is called uh tactical team deathmatch it's under the bonus playlist which is all the way on the left of call of duty infinite warfare you guys can check out this playlist and basically what it is is they did a really good job on this playlist when i first heard this thing was coming out and i talked about it in some patch update videos i thought it was just going to be sort of a gimmick playlist where basically it didn't play too well i played it for a few games and then i got bored but this thing is absolutely awesome it really feels like old school call of duty what it is is basically they took out the boost jumping but they left in wall running however you don't really like when you run on the walls your boost meter goes down so wall running is really useless and i don't think anyone really does it at all in this uh game mode i've never honestly i don't think i've ever seen anyone wall running i mean you guys can watch the gameplay and see if anyone is there's not really any spaces you can i can use it to get on those flanks sometimes but if you take advantage of it you can definitely kill people because they don't expect it to be a wall running game mode what's so fun about this game mode is that they left in the slide and the unlimited sprint so it feels like a classic call of duty but it's still fast paced because if infinite warfare has pretty medium sized maps it's still very very fast paced and you can take advantage of that and they also changed some other things it says on the menu when you go to click on this game mode that they changed how the health works i felt that you were killing people pretty fast so maybe the health is at like a 90 or a 95 it's definitely not like hardcore but maybe it is adjusted or i think they said that they changed how the guns kill or something like that um so i'm not really sure the exact notes on that but you guys can play it and you know figure that out for yourselves. Tell you, tell, you know it's gonna feel different for you guys. And another main thing is that there is a lot more flinch. Just watch the gameplay. You guys can see they added huge amounts of flinch when you get in those one v one gunfights. And I wasn't using marksman in this gameplay, which helps reduce a, a flinch by a minimal amount. Of course, I gotta try that out, and that, that might help. But I think they added this extra flinch to try to make it feel more like that classic Call of Duty feel. Sort of like how if you play Modern Warfare Remastered, that game has an insane amount of flinch. The flinch in this game on this tactical game mode is pretty high, but it's definitely not that bad. And it can kind of help you because if you get first shot into an enemy, they're going to be flinching so hard they won't even be able to shoot you. And in this game mode, getting that first shot down is 100% the biggest priority. And I think this game mode is definitely a 10 out of 10 and something that I'm going to be playing a lot more. Now, another thing is that Infinite Warfare is actually free for the weekend. And I think it's on PlayStation 4 as well as Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's on Xbox One, but I know it's PS4. And basically what this means is if you guys don't have Infinite Warfare, or maybe you're waiting until Christmas to get it or something like that, you can actually go on and test the game out. And what it also also means for most of us who are watching this video who already have the game is that this weekend there's going to be a lot of low level players a lot of newbie a lot of new players in the game and that's why if you're playing team deathmatch or even when i was playing in this game mode the tactical tdm uh, boots on the ground i noticed that there was a lot of lower level players and that is absolutely awesome because this weekend is a great time to get on and pub stomp this weekend is double xp for zombies also which i was really disappointed when i heard double xp for zombies i thought that meant double xp for multiplayer which apparently it doesn't, but last time it did, so I don't know how that really works. Um, but anyway, I think they're going to be doing some more double XP events, um, obviously, during this holiday season. We have a lot more things coming up soon. We're going to have that holiday Genesis, uh, the, the Genesis 24-7 playlist, the 12 days of holidays where we get a free a daily bonus every single day. It's really good. There's a lot of different things upcoming with this Call of Duty game, and I think that double XP, they said they're going to be running some good double XP events on this holiday season, so I'm not sure if it's going to be next weekend or maybe next next time during the week uh, that could probably happen i know they ran one of those up before it was like a tuesday to thursday double xp called did you ran that before so that's something we could see anyway hope you guys did enjoy this video nv4 flatline definitely worth it man that fire rate deduction does hurt you at close range but not that much and the the advantage it gives you at long range making it a you know killing the same amount of bullets as if they're standing right next to you is absolutely insane this gun is 100 worth the salvage and this gun is one that i think everyone should be using quite a bit it's an absolutely fun gun to use 
use, and it's probably, it is my favorite gun in the game, and it's the best gun in the game. Uh, the UMP would obviously be my favorite SMG, and it's also the best SMG as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like on this thing if you guys made it to the end of the video, and I appreciate if you guys can comment epic down in the comment section down below. Also, drop a like. Let's go for 2,000 likes. That would be amazing if we could hit that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night, and I'm out. Peace.